Hey Salam, I hope you guys are doing well. Hello, Chef is back for another video and this time I'm making panna cotta, a delicious Italian dessert made with double cream vanilla and you can serve it with a bit of the raspberry, blueberry or strawberry sauce. It has a really good taste and very refreshing. For those who don't know, panna cotta literally means cooked cream. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, first of all, you wanna grab some cold water. Now to set our devil cream, we need to use some gelatin. So here I've got some gelatin leaves, which we're gonna throw in the water. And just completely soak them in. This will make them nice and softer so we can use in our devil cream. So you just wanna leave this to the side for around five to six minutes. Now there is vegetarian options if you don't wanna use gelatin. I'll leave some links down below so you can check them out. Grab yourself a pan and that we're gonna add in the double cream. Now for those who don't know, panna cotta literally means cooked cream. Now some recipes do ask for milk. Why we add milk is just to make it a bit lighter, but the authentic recipe for panna cotta don't ask for milk, so you don't have to use it, it's totally optional. I personally like it a bit lighter, so I'm just gonna use milk. So now you're gonna bring this to gentle simmer until we start to see layer by bubbles on the side, okay? As you can see, there's layer bubbles forming around the edges. At this point of time, turn the heat to very low. And we're gonna add in two to three tablespoons of sugar. Now the sugar really depends on your mood and your taste. Also, we're gonna add vanilla extract. Now this vanilla extract is made with actual vanilla pods, which has those beautiful vanilla seeds inside. Oh man, it's gonna be amazing. Now just turn off the heat and we're gonna give this a really good mix. Now make sure to use a really good quality vanilla extract. It's gonna add a lot of flavor. All right, so that's perfect. Just let it cool down for a bit, two minutes. It's been around five minutes since we soaked our gelatin, so it should be softened up now. You just wanna grab all of it and you just want to squeeze all the water. Now for those who are vegetarian, don't worry. I'm gonna leave some good links below so you can use alternatives. All right, so that's done. I'm just gonna remove the water from here. And you just wanna grab your double cream and throw the beautiful gelatin in there. Give that a mix mix in properly oh the beautiful vanilla smells amazing all right so that's it for our cream i'm just gonna leave it aside for another two minutes and just let it cool down a bit more now you can use different types of glasses for your panna cotta or you can use molds as i have here you know here i've got a different type of glass you know just make it look nicer for your audience here I've got another one. So it's really up to you how you wanna play around with these. You could also use ramekins as a mold. It's gonna work perfectly. All right, so we're gonna start adding in our uh, double cream in here, along with those beautiful vanilla and sugar. Once you have done that, you can throw in some raspberries. So once you eat it, you're gonna get some of those raspberries coming in your mouth. Again, add some of those raspberries in there. Now you don't have to use raspberries, you could use blueberries if you like. Or we're gonna let these set in the fridge for a few hours. For best results, leave it overnight. For the raspberry coulis, grab a blender. In with the raspberries. Now you could use blueberries or strawberries, it's not a problem. Throw in some of the lemon zest. It's gonna add that freshness, you know. Lemon juice, squeeze that in. Catch any seeds. By the looks of it, this doesn't have any seeds. <laughs> now in with the sugar. 
Now some people would cook this sauce. I don't really want to do it, you know. I want to keep everything nice and fresh. Just a light touch of water. It will help in blending. Blend this until nice and smooth. Alright, so that looks beautiful as you can see. Amazing color. At this point in time, you just want to grab yourself a little bowl. We just want to pass this sauce through a sieve. Grab yourself a spoon and just get rid of those seeds. The lemon really added that brightness, that freshness to this. So don't be afraid of, uh, you know, experimenting with it. Add a bit of the zest, add a bit of the fresh juice. Don't cook it, please. Our beautiful coolie sauce. Done. Looks amazing. Let this cool down in the fridge. Alright, let's plate this up. So, this has been sitting in the fridge for at least four hours. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my hands across. Or you can dip in warm water, you know, just to release it. Carefully remove that. Now you want to add some of the sauce, you know, just on the top. That looks gorgeous, look at that. A delicious panna cotta, done. Guys, I'm gonna try this panna cotta. Looks amazing. It's a bit wobbly. <laughs> Smell that. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that flavor of vanilla. That is so refreshing and so delicious. Look at those beautiful raspberries inside. Oh my days. 10 out of 10 for that dessert. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, I'll see you next time. Until then, salam. Big for your mom, big for your dad, big for your family. Enjoy. Enjoy.